Hi. Let's learn about issuer identification numbers. The issuer identification number on a payment card indicates which bank or other financial institution issued that card and is responsible for it. These numbers are found on credit, debit, and other types of payment cards worldwide. Issuer identification numbers are sometimes referred to as bank identification numbers, BINs. Credit card numbers vary in length, frequently 15 or 16 digits but sometimes as many as 19. The first six or eight of those digits represent the issuer identification number. The very first digit is known as the major industry identifier number. These numbers were established by the International Organization for Standardization, ISO, and the International Electrotechnical Commission in a standard known as ISO IEC 7812. The MII indicates which industry the number is associated with. For example, numbers 3, 4, 5, and 6 apply to the banking and financial sectors, while 1 and 2 apply to the airline industry, 7 to the oil industry, and so forth. For that reason, credit and debit cards will begin with either a 3, 4, 5, or 6, depending on which card processing network, such as Visa or MasterCard, they are tied into. Specifically, to use some well-known cards and card networks as examples, Visa cards begin with a 4, MasterCards with a 2 or a 5, Discover cards with a 6, and American Express cards with a 3. The remaining 5 or 7 digits in the IIN indicate the bank or other financial institution that issued the card. Following the IIN on the card will be a series of numbers unique to that specific cardholder. The very last number, known as the check digit or check sum, is used to validate the card number through a computation called the LUN algorithm. The entire string of numbers, which identify the card network, the financial institution that issued the card, and the individual the card belongs to, is often referred to as the primary account number, or PAN. Issuer identification numbers, and the individual account numbers that accompany them, allow merchants and others to verify that a card is valid and that the user's account has sufficient funds available to cover the transaction, and they make it happen almost instantaneously. The number that's printed on your credit card and your account number with the financial institution that issued it can be two different things. As the Credit Bureau Experian points out, if your card is lost or stolen, then you'll receive a replacement card with new credit card numbers, but your account number will remain the same. If you don't already know it, you should be able to find your account number by consulting your monthly credit card statement. A virtual credit card number is a number that's different from your regular credit card number but linked to the same account. Virtual credit cards, sometimes called. The issuer identification number on a credit, debit, or other payment card shows which financial institution issued that card and what processing network it belongs to. The remaining digits, except for the last one, represent your personal credit card number. Here are four key takeaways. 1. Issuer identification numbers, IN, indicate which financial institution issued a particular credit or debit card as well as which card processing network, such as Visa or MasterCard, it is part of. 2. The IIN appears as the first set of digits in the card number. 3. The IIN is followed by a series of digits unique to the individual cardholder and then by a final, check digit used to verify that the card number is authentic. 4. IINs are usually 6 or 8 digits long, while the entire card number may have as many as 19 digits. Hope this would help, thanks for watching.